I think today we can start with a spiritual healing. Starting, you know, in the world as on today, as I know, there are 42 and more alternative medicines other than English medicine, other than allopathy. Like uh, Siddha, Ayurveda, Homeopathy, Acupuncture, Acupressure, all these kind of stuffs. Touch therapy. Every medicinal path, this treatment, healing, has got its own place. Reiki, for example, Reiki healing. Reiki is very famous everywhere. Acupuncture, acupressure is very famous. They are all working in a different body level. Even though there seems to be only one body by our visual, by our physical eye, there are other four bodies also. We need to know this before we learn the healing. Welcome. Welcome. Before we learn healing, we must learn about some knowledge about these bodies. We call it is uh, Annamaya Kosa, Pranamaya Kosa, Manomaya Kosa, Vinganamaya Kosa, Anandamaya Kosa. This is Indian terminology. We can understand in a simple way. Annamaya Kosa Annam means food, food. The body which is made up of food that we are eating daily. The food has created a body that body name is food body. That is what we are seeing now. You are seeing apparently a food body in front of you. The physical body, we call it is physical. This is the outermost body, outermost layer of the body of other bodies. There are other four kinds of bodies within this body. This physical body, many of us we know. The knowledge about the physical body is great nowadays. Because the medical science has done a lot of research work on this physical body. Except the brain. Except the brain, all other organ research is almost completed. We are thorough about the physical body. Except the brain. Brain is still a mysterious thing for medical science. Because it's functioning in a very peculiar way. <laughs> the researchers finding it very difficult to understand about the brain, how it is functioning. They know about anatomical structure, but they don't know the functional pattern of brain.
Okay. Let us come to the other bodies. Pranamaya Kosa. Prana means life force, life energy. From this root word pranayam came, pranayam. Pranayam is breathing exercise. So this body, prana body, is otherwise called energy body. The next layer. It's like layer after layer. <laughs> It's not only one body. <laughs> but science is making research about the outer cover. They have no clue about the next cover. <laughs> this is where exactly spirituality starts. If you ask a medical doctor, he will talk about this outer cover only. Your heart, your lungs, your kidneys, circulatory system, digestive system, nervous system, all these kind of systems. If you just ask your medical doctor, what about the energy body, he will go mad. <laughs> Or he will suspect that you are mad. <laughs> what is this? We never studied in our medical college. We studied only about this outer body as a doctor. But as a spiritual person, we are all spiritual people. We must know very deep about this body. Then only we can learn healing. What is this energy body? How the energy body is functioning? In what way energy body is responsible for a better health, well-being and day-to-day -day energy supply? The very name indicates it's an energy body. This is where exactly the energy is there. This body is a food body. Food is a limited energy source. But this next body, the inner layer, next to the physical layer, is an energy body. Energy body has got more energy than the physical body. Today one of the issues in the society and among people, they feel that they are tired. After doing half an hour or an hour work, they say, I become tired. They go and eat again something. <laughs> Why they go and eat again after one hour, after tired is, they believe only the physical body is supplying energy. That's why they are filling the body with the food. But if you know deep into this body, energy body, we can have more energy per day. We don't have to depend more on food alone. How it functions? 
how it generates energy. It generates energy through the breathing. Breathing, inhalation, exhalation. This is a food, <laughs> subtler food to this body, energy body. Now the question comes, yes, we are breathing every day, what is the problem? <laughs> Everyone is breathing, <laughs> so nothing big about that. <laughs> this is where exactly we must know some spiritual secrets over there. Are we breathing rightly? This is a question now. <laughs> See, with the physical body, the question is, are we eating rightly? <laughs> most of the time we have to say no. We are not eating the right food most of the time. We eat junk food. Isn't it? That knowledge is well versed in the world. What to eat, organic food and the leaves, a vegetable, energy body. Breathing plays a vital role. Have you observed the breathing of a small child, especially the newborn? Have you observed that? Mm -hmm. hmm? Yeah. How is it? They inhale more. They exhale the same. The breathing almost touches the hara for the small child. Very deep breathing is going on. What about adults? It happens only here. Very shallow, shallow breathing. Why so? What happens? Why for the small child the breathing is very deep, but for adults it is very, very shallow? Why so? Fear. Huh? Fear. Fear. Cut off from our hearts and other chakras. Hmm. Cut off from the connection from the chakras, disconnected. Controls emotions. Controlling of emotion. Rather we can say suppression of emotions, mm -hmm. repressions of our feelings and emotions. Why we suppress it? What is the reason? Dangerous. It is dangerous for the society. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> if a person breathing well, that person is a threat to the society. 
so the society is giving such a controlling factor supplying fear supplying worries creating emotions to spoil the breathing see how beautifully it's working <laughs> The second body, the energy body, has to be 100% healthy. We are discussing about healing. This is all the fundamental understanding of healing, spiritual healing. Now we have to deepen the breathing like a newborn. <laughs> so what can we do? Breathe deeper. Okay, we can breathe deeper. Consciously. Consciously. Be present. Be present in the now. We can keep the suppressed things away. That's the most important thing. Today we are going to have a Kundalini initiation. For today's initiation, this session is very important. It's almost like a preparation for Kundalini. So to deepen the breathing, to have maximum advantage of energy, first we have to learn breathing again. <laughs> we must know how to breathe. <laughs> we have deep knowledge about the world, but what about the self-knowledge, <laughs> breathing knowledge? You have to bring an awareness to the breathing. And we have to keep the emotions away, far away from our being. Because the emotions and the suppression of it is a main factor to control the breathing. And most importantly, Many of us, we are just longing to control the mind, reduce the traffic of the thoughts. That's our wish, you know. That's our desire. Because so much is going on, kar 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 kar. <laughs> How to bring to a normal thought level. Too much is going on. Monkey mind. Traffic jam. Traffic jam. Mm -hmm. Accidents. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to achieve this, to control the traffic, reduce the traffic, the breathing plays a vital role. It's always better to do something with the breathing rather than doing something with the thoughts. It's easy. You do something with breathing and the result is reflected in the thought level. If you control your breathing, you can control the thought. Regulate your breathing, you will have a regulation of thought level. You don't have to struggle too much with the mind. It's a simple, easy way. We are learning 
spiritual healing now. That's why we are going very deep into this subject. Because spiritual healing is a very deep healing than other healings. It may be Reiki, it may be acupuncture, acupressure, or it may be any kind of this 42 variety. But spiritual healing is very, very deep and permanent. You are the cause for this topic today. <laughs> and your pain is the cause mainly. <laughs> thanks, thanks to the, thanks to the pain. <laughs> now I know why I'm here. <laughs> so this energy body is a related, is related with the breathing, inhalation, exhalation, and also our thought levels as well as emotional levels. It controls. <laughs>